Welcome everyone. This is Michael from the Marx Group Live, and this is a super focused do it fast lesson on how to set up a project in Zoho Projects. After this video is over, please feel free to email us at support at marxgrouplive.com for any questions on this topic or on anything else Zoho. Also, be sure to rate this class as well, helping out your fellow Zoho users and helping us improve our video library. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do exactly one thing, set up a project in Zoho Projects, and I'm going to do this in the shortest possible time. In this demo, I'm running Firefox on Windows 10, but what I show you should work in other operating system and browser combinations, and let us know if you run into any snags. For this video, I'll assume that you already have access to Zoho Projects and are already somewhat familiar with project management principles. Now, to set up a project, we need to be in the Projects tab of Zoho Projects. We can't set up a project from any other screen. Over here on the right side of the screen is the New Project button. Ignore the Import Tasks function for now. We'll get to that in a later video. So we click on New Project, and Zoho pops open the New Project Setup screen, and this is where we'll spend our time in this video. Now, because we're focusing on fast results, we're going to accept the standard layout, and we won't edit the layout. Give your project a title, and be a little careful here, because this title will be visible to all stakeholders who might be getting reports about your project. So do it fast. Zoho informs us that we'll automatically create a prefix for tasks and issues that are based on this title. But we can update the prefix at a later time, but we're doing this fast. So the owner is probably you, unless you know that it isn't. So probably leave this exactly where it is. I suggest that you leave templates alone unless somebody from your organization has already set up templates for you to use. The start date and end date of a project are pretty important. The more accurate you are here, the easier it will become to manage your project, and the more meaningful your reports and dashboards will be. I'm going to set this up for a short two-week project. This brings us to the option of making this a strict project. If we check this, then Zoho won't allow you to schedule anything, including tasks, issues, or milestones beyond the boundaries of the start date and the end date. Checking this box might help you keep your dates tighter, but that also means there's less flexibility. So use this with caution. My suggestion is initially probably don't check it. As uh, down here, we have the project overview. This is where you can type a description of the project. Again, be slightly careful about this because optionally, this can be in the project dashboard, which may be accessible not only to your team members, but also to stakeholders who have access to the portal. Let's scroll down a little bit. And we have the optional task layout. As with the project layout that we looked at earlier, this can be customized, but for now, don't do it. Use the standard layout, and we can look at customizing this in another video. Next up, we have the group name. You might want to leave this blank or just invite everybody, but those would both be very bad ideas. Even if you think that you'll be working with the same group of people that you usually do, I recommend creating a new group name here for the project. This gives you much better flexibility in terms of assigning access rights and working with fluid membership situations where people come into a project or come out of a project and don't necessarily stay with the project for the entire duration thereof. So I'll create a new one. Do it fast. I'll create a new group. And then when I add people to that group, I don't have to worry about whether they are also in other groups. Uh, membership and visibility will be based purely on that group membership or um, being members of that group will give people access to project uh, documentation at an appropriate level. Next up, we have the budget. 
If you are responsible for tracking your project's finances, or if your project accountant will be working within Zoho Projects, you might want to complete this section. This can become superbly complex almost immediately, so here are my suggestions based upon my own project management experience. Set the currency to whatever you happen to be working in or whatever the project is paid in. If a project budget has already been worked out, either by you or by somebody else, you can enter that information here. And you can base it on the total amount that the project is uh, costing, the number of hours used by the project, uh, the amount of money that is being allocated per milestone, or the number of hours needed to reach a milestone. The billing method. Uh, your organization has probably already decided on which billing method to use. Now, if you're setting this up for yourself, or if you're in charge of finances, along with everything else, uh, I suggest you leave this based on staff hours or based on task and issue hours. Now, if your team members get billed out at different rates, then you'll want to take the staff hours option. If there's a flat rate for all work, it'll be based on task or issue hours. The other two options are much more likely to be used in situations where you don't really need to worry about exactly how much time is being spent on the project or how much money it's burning. That's either because there's lots of money or because there isn't any at all. Finally, the default billing status, my suggestion to you is to leave this as billable. Otherwise, you have to explicitly tell Zoho Projects every hour that is billable. This just sets the default to billable and you can make exceptions after the fact. I'm going to roll up that section by clicking on the carrot, the upward facing carrot. Um, the additional fields that you see here, I believe, were added by members of, the, of my Marks Group Live team on other videos. Uh, you might not have them at all, so I'll skip past them. If your project setup screen has fields that we don't discuss here, don't forget us to give us a call at support at marksgrouplive.com and we'll try to help you out. Checking the roll-up option. This is complicated, but it's worthwhile. This means that as you complete subtasks and tasks, the cumulative completion status will be calculated for the associated milestones and for the project itself. So when you complete a task that represents 10% of the work to complete a milestone, which is itself 10% of the overall project workload, then the milestone associated with that task will show 10% completion and the project itself will show 1% completion, which might seem a bit sad. But even so, I suggest you keep this checked so that your completion status is easier to track. When you click this, Zoho asks you to make sure that you actually want this clicked because it can't be disabled for this project. You can set it per, on a per project basis, but once you set it for a specific project, you can't undo it. I still recommend leaving that checked. Next up, we have tabs for the project. It is possible to customize these. Uh, I suggest you leave them exactly as they are and worry about them at a later time or on the next project. Some of them you may not use. That just means that they won't be used. On the other hand, if you don't include them, uh, adding them later is may confuse your project members. Finally, we have the access option, the project access option. I suggest you leave this one as private. Your first project, leave it as private. And that means that only you and your team members will be able to view and access the project. Now, it's possible that you may have stakeholders that aren't members of your project team. And if these stakeholders should have viewing rights to all of your project's environment, then this can be set to public. Now, this is on a per project basis. So setting this to public doesn't mean that stakeholders will have access to all the projects, just this particular one, and you have to add them anyway. So users will have to have access to the portal part of your project, and they will only be able to view, follow, or comment. 
They can't really mess things up. You may not have a choice in this, but if you do, I suggest you start your first project or two in private mode until you become more comfortable with the Zoho Projects environment. One more thing to do, click Add to get your project up and running. Now, all you have to do is add some tasks and do the work. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Check out our library for other training videos like this one. If you have any suggestions for other classes, or if you have questions that you may have about Zoho, email us at support at marksgrouplive.com. And thanks for watching.